Well, it is a, a good day for these heifers. I unroll a little dry hay and a little grass hay. But they got some pretty good grass here where we had some leftover stockpile. They've been really patient through this cold weather. We kind of made them wait because it was cooler and I made them eat some hay and they really don't like it. They grazed that old cell in there down really about nothing. That's not good. It's not anything we can measure too much. It's got a lot of old fescue in it, so I heard it to be a little bit short. Come on, girls. Yeah. Woo! Come on, dolls. Come on. They were moving once upon a time. And I stopped them. I forgot my, you know, best stock now is off. That's the cold days. They're going to enjoy this. This is some pretty good stuff. They look pretty good considering what they went through this winter. These are 30 months old, getting ready to kill. Two year olds almost in June. Going to kill in the fall. And then a little set of, like that one right there, that's just, uh, just a calf. That's a steer there. Casey, you know who that is. And then, of course, here's rugby. Of course. And they're going to put their head down. A lot of them walked a little farther than I thought they would. Because usually when there's green grass and they haven't had any for a day or two, they do like them up there and just park their heads and graze. Said, we don't need to take another step. This is good right here. This is good old stuff. Yeah. But then the rest of them are gone. It looks like the cow that's got the little calf is coming along right there. And as she didn't bring her calf, I'll have to leave that gate open. So it's no problem. You go back and get him. You want to always make sure your calves come. If they don't, you better leave that gate open. So, well, natural grandma, we just wish you were having as good a day as 